point it down here, right at this bit of wiring malarkey here. Yep. Okay. And yes. I'll actually pull my one out so you can see it. Ah, look at that. It's not even connected. See how loose that is. Oh, hang on. Let's this is not something we've done. Oh, we haven't even got there. But yep. <laughs> that was just sort of floating, floating in midair. Mid That's that. <clears throat> So what we've done on Jeff's, we'll show you in Jeff's on a second, we've heat shrunk that and we'll go through how we did it because that stopped that falling off, that's corroded already, that it's got some sort of white grease on it as well. Let's put, push that in there. That's really funky. That cable is too short, that's what the problem is. Yeah. We'll have to free a load of that up because what they've done is they've cabled that's too short so we'll have to dive inside the handlebars somewhere. Uh, no, it's the loom itself is being pulled all the way down. Ah, right. Yes, it's this lot here that was... Oh, goodness. Yes, it's all very tight. Yeah, we'll have to free something up. But if we come into your... Uh, put my thing back on. Uh, we've seen this a million times, so we're not going to focus in on it. Very smart. Right, because what we do then is we all just need to know the your one. Right? <laughs> Why you double covered it? Um, it was simply to find out whether the cover I've got is actually the correct one or not. <laughs> right, okay. So if we come in here, mm. come over the other side. Uh, actually, I can get a shot of it here. Put that there. Yep. Yep. You can see that we've actually heat shrunk all the way up over those connectors. So it holds them together and they yep. go in. Although there are two connectors there, they actually go in like a plug as a, a single connector. Hang on, can you wave that in front of this again? Hang on, where is it? Ah, there we go. Uh, yep. Because it then just plugs in. If we can get the angle right. So it plugged in the first time. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Yeah, let's get the angle right. And if it pop round to the mid section. <clears throat> yeah, and we've done the same down there. Then the same down there. So it's literally this is heat shrink shrunk. Heat shrunk all the heat way shrink. up. Yeah. <laughs> same effect. Yep. And what we've done is because this one's down, we just got glue, a piece of glue heat shrink for the bridge between the two so it doesn't fill up with water. And there you go. Um, okay, we're doing the heat shrinking on my cables. We had to cut a um, one of the cable clips off and pull this up because it was woefully short. Um, red one at the front blue one at the back, it doesn't matter because it's just a switch line. Uh, these two go back to back, just going to put a heat piece of heat shrink on there, which will hold these two together, heat gun it up. Oops, point in the right place and heat gun it up. And we should be good and then we'll work on to the back one because the back one was a bit of a pain in the ass to do. Okay, because we've got a heat gun out here, all we've done is packed a load of towels around here so it doesn't melt anything. If you're worried, use a wet tea towel. We haven't bothered wetting one, but we did just without wet tea towels. So we're good to roll. Okay, uh, right, first thing. The connectors that go on have a flat side and a ridge side, flat sides together. Yep. Okay, that's the important bit. Uh, I suppose that's about, what, three inches yep. of three to one heat shrink. Mm -hmm. Got it from Farnells. Farnells, yep. yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, and what we're going to do, gonna try and do, is actually heat shrink it like that, so yep. we actually form our own connector. Yep. Yep. Now, do we want to put a glove on this time because he got off? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, except they haven't got gloves. Well, we've got some um, leather gloves in there, or gardening gloves, or something. 
going to put some gloves on because last time Jeff was toasting my fingers. I think that they're at the back, aren't they, somewhere? Back to it with gardening gloves. You ready? Um, yeah. Okay. What do you want, Max or Min? No, no, Min. Get attacked by a tree in my head. those wires in the right place. It's too short. Can't do that without sinking your fingers. Just sitting tight to my gloves. <laughs> But if you pull it up, something happens. It's got to be kept flat. Because when you pull it up, then one one, one lead pulls back. Oh, okay. Right, try that. is get it to, to close around those connectors first because the rest of it will hold in place and then we can wave it around all over the place. Should I do it? No. It's closed around the connectors, that's not the problem. It's the rest of it now. Yep. Can do this with a hairdryer. Out the way. You can do it with a hairdryer and leave it to make much more control. What we should have done is come up through there. Yeah. Slowly and gently it's the way. You don't need to put it on the max heat and toast it. The biggest problem is not the heat shrink, it's the plastic that was Underneath. there before. You mustn't let that get too hot. I think it's as shrunk as it's going to shrink, isn't it? And let it cool down. Um, where is the heat shrink? I was going to see if I can zoom in on the label on the heat shrink for you. Right, he's peeled the label off. Right, let me give you the part number of this. Um, see if I can zoom in on it. Right, it does say 20... Oh, I can't see what that is. Looks like something 21-0335. Gets from Farnells. Yeah. And it looks like it might be a 1 or something. It might be 121. 
but there's a number underneath which is DN Donkey November 6501079. So that's the part number. Okay, that's done. We're just going to let it cool down and then we shall get onto the brake side of things. Don't be tempted to shove it in until it has cooled down, otherwise, you'll get a crease in it and the crease is set in it. Okay, because we're doing cool the south outside, side, it's, yeah. it's cooled down quite fast. All right then, so we get stick this back on, which is really simple, he says. But we think it will be. Put the camera in the right place. I don't think, I think you're too close to me. My hands won't go round the thing and the lead at the same time. There you go. And it just pushes up and pushes on and it's done. Right. And then what so we're gonna do is move tuck all that in, move the cable clips back, and we're done. So um I'll see you on the next one.